Bees are important to more than the honey industry. As they forage in canola fields, bees are also a positive impact on one of Canada's biggest cash crops. We asked beekeepers and scientists what can affect the health of bees and how they can be protected. They told us that the biggest challenges in Western Canada are parasites and the harsh prairie winters. You know, it all starts back in March for us. We need good wintering success. If, if, uh, and this year is a good example. Uh, you know, the first week of March, we came out of winter with less than 10% winter losses. Things look really good. Bees look good. They, things were quite nice in late February here in, in uh, central Alberta. And the weather went to pot for six weeks. And our bees went downhill so fast, I've never seen it before. And uh, over those six weeks, we lost another 20% of our bees. Wintering's uh, definitely one of our biggest challenges in, in, as a Canadian beekeeper, and especially a, a beekeeper in the prairies. After production in the fall, we have a very short window uh, to get treatments on. The treatments are uh, temperature dependent and uh, to get them fed. Uh, in the spring and fall, we feed liquid sugar. It has to be flying conditions for the bees to take it. So we have a six to eight week window to get all the feed and treatments in. And then, uh, you know, we have to wrap, we wrap them up in insulated tarps and leave them outdoors for the winter. Um, and, you know, the, the treatments include a treatment for the, for the mites that we've all heard about in the media, you know, the last five years and uh, mites being resistant to treatments. And, those mites lead to viruses. It, it all starts with, you know, good treatments going into the winter, wintering success. It, it, it all kind of flows into each other. So winter and mite treatments are the two biggest issues that we have to deal with right now, I believe. Historically, there have been a number of large bee die-offs, and in many cases, we don't know what the root cause of those bee die-offs were. Um, in Canada, one of the largest hurdles bees face is our long winters, and that's not something that's ever going to go away. The longer and colder the winter, the more bees will have die. This particular yard of bees is uh, destined for BC. We overwinter about half of our colonies in British Columbia, the Kelowna area, and mainly because of the uh, warmer climate over the winter, the shorter duration of winter. We expect a total mortality rate of about 30 percent. That includes hives that we've culled in the fall, hives that die over the winter, and hives that just don't make it in the spring. The winter in BC is much milder and much shorter in duration than what the winter in Manitoba is. The bees generally winter better in British Columbia just because the winter is a lot shorter than here. The population of the hive changes throughout the year. The max population in the hive is obviously during the middle of summer where there could say be 50,000 plus bees per hive and that would be going into winter also. But then during the winter, that number dwindles down. So you may only have 10,000 left by the 1st of uh, April. There's three major pests, three to four major pests or diseases affecting honeybees in the province right now. Uh, first two are mites, varroa mite and tracheal mites. And every year we have to treat for these mites to keep these diseases under control. Without appropriate treatments, colonies would effectively die within a year or two. If you're not controlling your fowl brood and your, and your, uh, your mites, you're going to lose bees. The fowl brood is, it will totally wipe a hive out in one year. And the mites, the worst thing about mites is when they come in in the fall, they stay with the bees. As long as the bees are warm, the mites are there, and they'll, they'll totally destroy your hives. Canola is a great crop for bees. Bees tend to do very well on canola. It has profuse blooms. It has uh, very nutritious pollen. It's high in protein as well as fat, and it has all the amino acids bees need to complete their life cycle. And it also has a large amount of nectar, so bees can actually produce quite a good honey crop off of canola. They also contribute to the yield of canola, so I think it's a relationship that benefits both the growers and the beekeeper to have the bees on canola crops. Uh, all the canola we grow is all for seed production, so it, it needs the pollination on there, so it's a, a necessity for the, for the bees, so we have to have them. Well, and I think um, the, uh, the majority of the seed growers that are growing hybrid seed production understand the importance of the, the pollinators 
to uh, getting a good seed crop. So more and more of them are really understanding the importance of uh, applying their, their, even their fungicides and, and insecticides, you know, in the right times of day, especially like roughly after eight o'clock at night and stuff. Basically, if a bee can have uh, good pollen and nectar sources, uh, they do a pretty good job of taking care of themselves as long as we take care of the uh, mites and the uh, pests and disease issues as well. For more information about bees and canola, visit the websites of the Canola Council of Canada and the Canadian Honey Council.